have everything that you can. That's uh, then, yep. Well, everybody, it's tournament day. Round one of the Amped Up Gauntlet. It's my first tournament of the year. Uh, and man, I, these early wake ups, wow. Right now it is coming up on four o'clock in the morning. Got my coffee. Ah! Actually, I just forgot. My coffee's still in the back. That could have been bad. Lines in time is at uh, 0, 0,500. The tournament's gonna run until 1,500. I'm still running military time. But yeah, 10 hours to catch the five biggest snakeheads possible. Had a pretty good day of pre-fishing yesterday. Maybe not with a lot of size, right? But this is a qualifying round for the tournament. I think there's 50 some odd anglers that have entered uh, that will be competing today. The top 20 advanced to the next round. The name of the game today will be qualification. Um, just like any other tournament, it's not the kind of thing that you can win on the first day, but it's definitely the kind of thing that you can lose. Man, I love tournament season. So we're gonna head out. We're gonna hit our bag limit as fast as we possibly can, hoping for five fish. We'll move on from there to a place that will maybe let us cull, hoping for a good day. I don't know if you can hear all that. The turtles and the frogs and the birds. Life is short. It's important to take a second to be respectful every once in a while and just listen. Good luck, everybody. At tournament time, it's important to know the waters you're fishing and have an idea of how the fish are behaving. In this particular spot, pairing started up about five weeks ago, which means fry ball are now starting to emerge. Targeting those fry is a great way to land big, mature breeding snakeheads. This area of water off the Delaware River is super shallow and filled with very, very dense grass. So dense, in fact, that I didn't even bother mounting my trolling motor or dropping my rudder in the AP-136. Of course, that meant having to cover several miles paddling a relatively large watercraft, but sometimes you gotta work for these fish. After that first fish, things got pretty tough. 
the sun came up fast. It felt like it got high in the sky way early. It got hot, and long and the short of it, we had three hours of nothing. No short strikes, no responses, nothing at all. It was definitely time to make a change. All right, we are implementing a change in tactics. I had to pull out of that other spot. The sun is too high in the sky. There's absolutely no cloud cover. Top water's not gonna work. We're gonna move to a spot where we have a chance at doing you know, two different tactics. One subsurface, you know, throwing chatter baits, throwing underspins, um, and also good old fashioned fry ball hunting. Rodney, who I was fishing with, uh, he's got four fish so far, and three of his have come off a fry ball. My only one came off of a fry ball. I just, I wasn't spotting them. Go to a place that's a little bit more familiar, go to a place that gives us a few more options, and we'll see how well we do. All right, see you at the other side. Moving to this new spot unlocked the full advantage of having an Old Town AP-136, specifically the use of the trolling motor and the handheld controls which allowed for me to stand up and sight fish while scanning for fry. Now, as it turns out, this spot also had something the other spot didn't, which is duckweed. Now, during periods of intense sun, the duckweed offers snakeheads concealment and shade without having to bury themselves in denser vegetation, where they can't be reached. On a hunch, I started targeting covered pools and a pattern emerged almost immediately. Lesson, when the sun is out, use small dark colored frogs in areas covered with duckweed. Looks like we made a good choice. First cast up into the duckweed. Relax, 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 relax. Alright, gotcha. Oh boy. Boy, you just squeezed on that one, didn't you? Come on. Let me help you. Come on, open up. It's not even hooked in there. Come on. Slimy. There we go. Whoa. Mm. out of here <sighs> you just gotta laugh I was just about to push the button relax stop stop really Found and determined not to work with me, aren't you? Yeah, that's a better fish. Come on, over here. Weird. Got a big old sore in your mouth, don't you, buddy? Okay. Whoa. Whoa.
Oh, good. to aim way over to the left. There we go. Come on. Come on, fish. Another little guy. That's okay. I won't take it. Oh. That's a limit. Thank you, love. What well, you say we catch a big one now? Sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That's not gonna work at all. God, you're powerful. Please don't, please stop. Fuck! Nothing I can do. I'm sorry. officially three o'clock all my GoPro batteries <laughs> are dead all my SD cards are full 
it's been a bruiser of a day but you know what we got our five in and i don't know i mean there could be late entries there could be how you know however that stuff goes some people like to hold on to their fish until the very end and then submit them i i don't really much go for that but as of now there's only nine people with over 100 inches and i'm one of them and you got to make the top 20 to qualify so we're looking pretty good looks like my teammates did pretty well too so that's that's good stuff i am exhausted i am gonna go home i'm gonna take a shower and <laughs> i'm gonna go to bed because <laughs> man what a day i hope you enjoyed this i know i did even if i don't make the cut I'm pleased with the way t today turned out, except for that part where I broke a rod. That sucked. Thanks for coming by. Remember, it's never too late to care again.